Good morning guys. Today is Tuesday and we have a full day today. We have a lot of work. Gonna do a workout and just some little things around the house. So if you wanna see what I get up to today, then just keep watching. I wanted to come on here and show you guys this jacket. I'll link it down below, but I got this from Aritzia. And since Lululemon is canceled right now, I think that it's good to look for alternatives. And I think Aritzia is a good option for workout clothes. They have a lot of colors and a lot of different styles. So I really like this jacket. It's like a light brown color and it's also thicker than the Lululemon jackets. So if you live in a colder climate, I definitely recommend that you guys check out Aritzia, specifically this jacket, because I just love it. It's so cute. Hey guys, I'm headed out. I'm going to the gym and normally when I go to the gym, I warm up by stretching and jogging for a mile and then I do some sort of weight workout. So that's what I'm doing today and I'll film some of it so you guys can see. But first I'm going to go down to the package room. I'm looking for these resistance bands that I ordered from Amazon. Allegedly, they were delivered sometime yesterday, but I went down there and didn't see them. So I'm going to go look for them again. If not, I'll just do the workout without them. Secured the package. So I got these resistance bands from Kuban's Fitness. And they came in this bag, which is cool. And I just got the black and gray color. So I'll use them today and let you guys know what I think. Hey guys, I'm at the gym now. I just did my mile run. And I'm not going to lie, it completely killed me because I realized that for the first like 0.25 miles, I was literally running at 0.5% incline instead of zero. And it doesn't sound like a lot, but honestly, when I was running, I was like, something's not right. Like, why do I feel like my legs are not able to extend as far as normal when I'm running? And it's because I was running on an incline, but I still managed to finish the run. And now I'm gonna do the weights portion. So I'm over here at the racks and we're gonna get started. And I'm also gonna be using these resistance bands. Only been a few hours when it felt like days. Only been days when it felt like months. Workout is done. So let's discuss the resistance bands. I actually like them, um, they're nothing revolutionary but they're good for the price because they were pretty cheap and it has three different bands in one pack light medium and heavy and i really like that they're thick i think this is the best part because they won't get all twisted you know that happens sometimes with the thinner bands so i think that this is nice and it has grips on the inside so they don't fall down at all so i really like these bands and i will continue to use them and i'll also link down below the workout that I did. I had it on TikTok and I thought it was really good. So I'll link that down below in case anyone wants to try it out. And this is lunch for the day. It's just leftovers from the other day if you saw my video and I added a chicken sausage. Hey guys, I'm back. I've just been doing some work and now I'm trying to find a last minute birthday gift for my friend Charlotte. It is her birthday on Friday, so I really need to find her something that she's going to like. I didn't have a ton of time as far as shipping goes because Friday is in like three days. So I've been looking on Amazon because I find that their gift set section is actually pretty good. Like they have a wide variety of items and I just found what I think is the perfect gift for her. So I ended up ordering her this hot sauce set. It's super random but I actually feel like Charlotte would really like this gift. So it's this hot sauce set and it comes with five different types um, and it says it has a variety of heat levels, extra reserve, garlic habanero, extra hot, mango which is that, the mango one looks really cool and the ghost pepper and the reviews are really really good like it's got 4.6 stars and almost 2800 ratings so this is what i'm gonna get her for her birthday i wanted to get her something silly but also something that i think she would really like and get use out of and who doesn't love hot sauce so that's what i ended up getting her it's going to be here on thursday so perfect timing so i'm actually going to chill and put my pajamas on it's a little early right now it's like not even five o'clock, but the work is winding down. So I'm gonna get comfy and make some dinner. Family night. Jordan. Oh yeah, only go like once. Life move fast when you do what you want. I 
Hey guys, so I decided to morph today's vlog and yesterday's vlog into one just so I can have more footage. Um, a bit of a late start to today. It's already noon and I've had a bunch of meetings today and I did a little quick Pilates ab workout in the morning and I'll link that down below for you guys because I think it's really good. It's only six minutes, so it's great if you don't have a lot of time. But when I do it, I'll do the video like three times through so I can get a nice like 20 minute workout. And it's honestly really hard, but it's, it's good. And it's still pretty beginner friendly. So again, I will link that specific video that I did this morning down below. OOTD, jacket is from Shein. This is my most prized possession from Skims. It's this like teddy quarter zip. And then I have these jean vintage cargos and Vans. Guys, it's so warm here. It's like almost 60 degrees in January. I love SF. Not that you could tell how hot it is based on my outfit. I'm literally layered up. I am making a quick lunch right now, but I want to share my favorite bread because that's part of the lunch. It's from Trader Joe's. Now, please ignore. We need to have a moment of silence for this packaging because what's happening is the pack. every time I get this bread, the packaging basically falls apart when you try to close it for the first time. So that's what you're looking at, tape to try to revive this stiff bag. But aside from that, this is my favorite bread. You can see how thick it is, it's so good. Perfect for French toast, and also perfect for what I'm making, which is egg toast. So yeah, sorry I'm like high key covering up the label, but this is the packaging. It's very distinct. When you walk inside of Trader Joe's, you will immediately recognize it. Here's the broccoli. It got a little crispy in the air fryer, but we're gonna ignore that. And now I just need to finish up the toast and the sausage. Bone apple tea. Breakfast is done. So we have broccoli here, egg toast, and chicken sausage for lunch. This is a meal with all of my favorite foods. I've decided to organize my drawers now. So this is before. We have this one. We have this one. And we have this one. I'm gonna finish with these drawers and then I will show you guys what they look like when I finish. The drawers are done and I couldn't be happier. So this is the top one. And then I have all my sweats here. And then my pajamas are in this drawer. And then all of my workout clothes are down here. So I'm so happy now that everything is organized and in its place. Hey guys, so I'm back home. I just went to pick up some food from Pink Onion. If you know, you know, on Wednesdays, they have a really, really great deal. It's a San Francisco staple. And when I was walking home, literally the second that I got into my building, the bag rips and the bread falls out. Luckily it's wrapped up really good and it didn't fall like outside on the street or anything. But oh my God, I was so lucky that I made it inside right as it started to rip. Because imagine if it was ripping as I was walking. Like these bags are so flimsy and because there's so much food with their amazing Wednesday deal, it literally ripped right through the bag. Since we're talking about the deal, I might as well show you the food that comes with it. So you get a pizza and this is their grandma pizza. It's so good. And you also get an appetizer or a salad. I really like the pink onion salad. So that's what I got today. And you get pasta. Their rigatoni vodka is a national treasure. So that's the one that I always get and it's really, really good. And then also with the deal, you get a cheesecake. It's wrapped up pretty tight right now, but I'll show you guys when I unbox her. But you can see a little corner right there. This cheesecake is literally my favorite dessert in the whole world. And then of course, they give you little breadsticks too. So this deal is really, really amazing. So it is much later now, it's 11 p.m. and I'm gonna do my closet still. So I'm about to show you guys the before. It doesn't look that bad because I think I organized my closet about once a month, but I still wanna show you because the top part of the closet is really what I need to fix because things are just a mess in everywhere. So just like before with the drawers, I'll show you a quick before and after. 
So this is the before. Shoes at the top are just kind of scattered. Handbags are all over the place. Pretty sure some even fell. Yeah, like there's one right there that fell. So I'm just gonna go ahead and organize the top so I can get everything lined up how it should be. Done organizing the closet and it came out nice. I just lined everything up and color coded everything. So that's what it looks like. It didn't take me long, but I think now because this didn't take much time, I'm gonna go ahead and organize my bathroom cabinets as well. So now we are in my bathroom and I'll show you guys what the cabinets look like now on both sides. So I have double cabinets. So on the left side, this has most of my everyday products like my makeup, skincare, bath products, all of that is in here and it's kind of a jumbled mess. And then on this side, equally as random is hair products and miscellaneous storage. So I am about to organize all of this. So here we go. So now this side looks so much better. And now this side is also organized. It's harder to get this side to look nice just because of all the paper towels and stuff, but I'm still pretty happy with how it came out. And you realize how much space you really have once you get rid of a few things and kind of rearrange everything. Hey guys, it's about three o'clock. I am watching The King right there. And I'm also organizing my kitchen cabinets. Behind me, I've already started on the top. I haven't done the bottom yet, but I'll show you clips from where I am now. That way you guys can compare to when it's done. I've been on a real organizing kick lately. Not sure where that's coming from, but I can't wait because these cabinets are literally the bane of my existence. I just finished and these look so good. So one thing about how I organize is it's low-key hard to maintain just because everything has a place. And if it's not in that place, things are gonna start to look messy. But for right now, this is what we're working with. So, so, so much better than it was because at least now we can see everything that we have. I am about to head to my workout now, but I quickly wanted to show you guys the most amazing product in the world if you have squeaky doors. So the doors in my apartment are so, so, so squeaky. Like I'll even show you an example. This is the door to my sister's room and just listen as I push it open. Like the squeak is horrible and I finally got fed up with it. So I decided to purchase this item right here. And this is the Renew Natural Household Oil. So all I have to do is literally spray this on the hinges and it prevents the doors. Oh, there's my sister right now. She just got home, but I'm gonna spray this on her door. You guys have seen the before and now I'll show you the after. Okay guys, so I'll show you. All I had to do was spray these hinges here. Like I can hear that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray it really quick so you can see. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get everything Really good spray. Be careful because it does drip down a little bit. You just want to get a spray. So I spray it with this and now I'm going to move the door so you guys can see. Okay, now let's listen. Do you see this? No squeak. The squeak is completely gone. So I 10 out of 10 would recommend this product. I'm going to go ahead and link it in the description down below, but this is my new favorite product and I literally cannot live without this. Hey guys, so I'm making a green smoothie. I just got back from my workout. My recipe for a green smoothie has mango, shredded kale, orange juice, a little bit of honey, cinnamon, and half of an avocado and some ice to keep it cool. I just realized I forgot to add the main ingredient, which is the whey protein powder. So this is mostly mixed and I'm gonna go ahead and add that in now. And I don't do a full scoop, I do about a half scoop. I find that gives a better texture than a full scoop. And I'll just add a little bit more orange juice to this. And here we have it. This is my favorite green smoothie recipe. I just added a little bit more honey and cinnamon on top, but this tastes so good. This tastes exactly like an apple pie. So I'm about to drink this and I will leave the recipe to this smoothie in the description bar if anyone wants to try it. Hey. My hope is 
be my leading lady. I want a contract, get no lady. In the meantime, in some meantime, I'll be doing what you want. Everybody beats like Odell. Oh, but more, my killers don't tell. Shut down my mark of the New York to show. Will you be my leading lady? I want a culture and get a little baby. Just finished my skincare routine and now I'm going to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed this very organization heavy vlog. But be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.